What's going on guys, it's your boy Fenno here, and today I have for you a $25 CSGO loadout. You guys seem to really enjoy these CSGO loadout videos, so I decided to uh, listen to the comments section and uh, make the $25 loadout as soon as I could. So without any further ado, let's hop right into this video, starting out with the Glock 18 Moonrise field tested. You can get this skin on the Steam Market for $0.66, cents and uh, it is not too beat up in the field tested condition. I really like the pattern on this skin, it varies from skin to skin. So like the position of the moon will vary throughout the uh, the skin pattern, but um, overall I really enjoy this skin and I hope you guys do as well. But if the moonrise isn't your favorite, then you can always opt for a Glock 18 Weasel, Field Tested, or Battle Scarred, whatever you can find. It's a slightly cheaper alternative, and I think it is a good replacement. But moving on, we have the USPS Lead Conduit Battle Scarred, which costs 75 cents. I personally think it's the best USPS skin for under a dollar. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. But if you prefer to use the P2000, that's okay. You can always opt for a Handgun Minimal Wear, which costs around 70 cents. It looks arguably better than the lead conduit and it is five cents cheaper next up we have the dual berettas royal consorts minimal wear i got this skin from the steam market for 53 cents and i personally have never owned one before this is the first time i've ever used this skin and i must say uh it looks pretty clean and i decided to go with the minimal wear because it looks brighter than the other conditions i really do like my bright skins but moving on we have a p250 sand dune battle scarred which costs 24 cents the sand dune is the best p250 skin in the game you guys don't need any other skin it's 2019 and if you don't own a p250 sand dune then what's wrong with you no, but in all honesty, this skin is amazing, but unfortunately it is not included in this loadout, unless you really want to. But uh, the skin that I decided to go with is a P250 Crimson Kimono Minimal Wear instead. This skin costs 64 cents on the Steam Market, and in the Minimal Wear flavor, it looks really good. Uh, it is not too worn out, at least on this side. Nobody gets to see the other side anyways, so you might as well go for the Minimal Wear. The lower the float, the better. For our CZ75 auto skin, I have a Red Aster Battle Scarred, which costs 41 cents. The Battle Scarred flavor is going to be darker than the other conditions, but that's about it. If you want a slightly brighter version of this skin, you're going to have to purchase at least the minimal wear. That is, if you really want to see noticeable changes. However, in my personal opinion, the Battle Scarred will do just as fine. For our 5.7 skin, I decided to go with the Urban Hazard Factory New, which I got for 51 cents. For the price, I think it's a pretty solid skin, and I think it's just a cheaper looking candy apple. For our Tech 9 skin, I decided to go with the Bamboo Forest Factory New, which I also got for 51 cents. However, next up we have the Desert Eagle Bronze Deco Factory New, which costs 66 cents on the Steam Market, and it is by far the best Desert Eagle skin for under a dollar. It's the cleanest looking skin for under a dollar for sure, and um, I don't know, I really do enjoy the skin. I've uh, showcased it in previous videos for you guys, and I just cannot get enough of this skin. However, if you prefer to use the R8 Revolver, I recommend going with the Amber Fade Factory New, which costs around 73 cents. Moving on to the right rifles, I have for you an AK-47 Cartel Field Tested. I got this skin from the Steam Market for $4.57. I think it was a pretty good bargain. If you're tired of Elite Builds and Uncharted skins, or even the Emerald Pinstripe, then this is a great skin for you. While you could say that it looks really similar to the default AK-47 skin, I beg to differ. The pattern on it definitely makes the default AK-47 skin look dull, so I highly recommend you guys check out this awesome skin. Moving on, we have an M4A4 Griffin field tested. It costs around $2.50 on the Steam Market, and uh, it's a pretty cheap skin considering the uh, unique pattern to it. This skin has quite the history behind it, and while I could go on and on about it and give you guys a history lesson, I'd rather save that for another time. Right now, all you need to know is that this skin costs around the key, and it's definitely one of the nicer M4 skins for under $5. For the M4A1S, I recommend going with the Leaded Glass Minimal Wear, which costs around $4.68. Uh, you can also experiment with the field tested or well worn versions of this skin, which will probably be cheaper, uh, but they will not be as bright, so keep that in mind. 
I like the brightness of this skin and I think it really makes it pop and it looks good. However, if you're not into the leaded glass, you can always opt for a basilisk and uh, that'll probably do you just as well. For the AWP skin, I decided to go with the Mortis Battle Scarred. This skin costs around $5.64 on the Steam Market. You don't need to purchase a factory new or minimal wear version of this skin. Uh, I think for the money and for the appearance, the Battle Scarred will do just as fine. This is definitely one of the best cheap op skins in the game. For our SSG 08 skin, I decided to go with the Acid Fade Factory New, which costs 55 cents and is a very clean looking skin. But moving on, we have the Galil AR Blue Titanium Factory New, which costs 48 cents on the Steam Market. Not too many people have really heard about this skin or used this skin in general. I believe this skin was first introduced in 2013 as part of the Esports 2013 Winter Collection. So it is a pretty old skin and not too many people have heard about it. So if you want to impress your friends with a very nice looking cheap Galil skin, then this is definitely the skin to go with. For the Fama skin, I have to go with the Survivor Z Fuel Tested, which costs around 38 cents. I know I have been recycling this skin a lot in previous loadouts, however, I do think it is the best looking cheap FAMA skin in the game for under a dollar. If I had more money to spend, I could probably upgrade to a nice Valens. However, they all cost over a dollar and I want to save my money for elsewhere. Next up, we have the SG553 Pulse Field Tested. I got this skin for 75 cents on the Steam Market, and I think it is another pretty obscure skin. Uh, it's a very old skin and uh, not too many people know about or use. Um, however, I think it looks flashy, it looks cool, uh, it looks clean for it being field tested, and for under a dollar, I think it's a no-brainer. But for our AUG skin, I decided to go with the Aristocrat Field Tested. It costs $1.05 on the Steam Market. I decided to spend a little bit more money for the AUG skin because I feel like some people are probably going to be using this skin. I know I got nerfed, quote-unquote, but um... I still think it's pretty viable in certain situations, and there's still a handful of players that will probably use it. So nonetheless, I decided to spend more money, and I think the Aristocrat looks clean. It looks really good for a field-tested skin, and for under a dollar, I think it's pretty solid. For our Scar 20 skin, I decided to go with the illustrious, best Scar 20 skin in the game, the one-of-a-kind Grotto Minimal Wear, which costs 16 cents. And for the G3 SG1 skin, I decided to go with the Polar Camo Factory New. It only costs 15 cents for the Factory New flavor, and it's a very nice looking skin, very clean. Uh, it almost reminds me of a Winter Forest skin, however, it does not have blue in it, which isn't too big of an issue. And if you're going to use this skin, you might as well do it in style, so I definitely recommend you guys check out this skin. Next up we have a Nova Toy Soldier field tested. I got this skin for 35 cents from the Steam Market. I was actually surprised at how clean and shiny this skin looked for the field tested condition. So if you guys want a cheap expensive looking Nova skin, the Toy Soldier is for you. For our XM1014 skin, I decided to go with the Ziggy Field Tested. I only paid 31 cents for this beautiful looking skin, and the Field Tested is all you need. For our Sawed Off skin, I decided to mix things up and go with a Souvenir Irradiated Alert Field Tested. It only costs around 14 cents, and you can dig around and find one with some pretty nice stickers. And to even things out, I decided to go with a Souvenir Mag 7 Irradiated Alert Field Tested as well. I got this skin for around 17 cents on the Steam Market. And again, I did some digging to make sure that I got some stickers that I personally like. Always check the stickers, guys. Always. There are actually people that scrape them. Who scrapes an I Buy Power Gold sticker? But anyways, that's enough of my rant. For the Negev skin, I have a Manowar Minimal Wear. It only costs 13 cents, and I've repeated the skin over and over again. But I promise you that it is the best, cheap, good-looking Negev skin for 13 cents in the game. So look no further. And the M249 Spectre Field Tested for 11 cents is also a great option. The M249 doesn't have very good skins on it, but this one is probably one of the best. Moving on to the SMGs, I have for you a MAC-10 Calf Skin Battle Scarred. This skin only costs 15 cents, and I decided to go with a Battle Scar just to mix things up a bit. This one is actually pretty beat up, but I certainly don't mind. I like beat up skins, that's just me. 
the lower the float, the brighter and cleaner this skin will look, so make sure you guys take a look at the skin's float before purchasing. For the MP7 skin, I decided to go with the Armor Core Minimal Wear. I have used this skin in previous loadouts in the past, but if you guys have an alternative, I would love to hear it. For our MP5 skin, I decided to mix things up a bit and go for the Gauss Well Worn. This skin costs 39 cents from the Steam Market and is part of the new Prisma Case collection, so its price is sub subject to change, however I do think it looks better than the Dirt Drop and Lab Rats that I have been touting for in all of my previous loadout videos. For our P90 skin, I decided to go with the Grim Field Tested, which only costs 19 cents. And for the PP Bison, I decided to go with the Chemical Green Well Worn, which only costs 15 cents. And I honestly think the wear on it makes it look more authentic and cool. For the UMP45 skin, I decided to go with the Mudder Field Tested. It only costs 4 cents. Yes, you heard that right, I'm going with a Mudder Field Tested that only costs 4 cents. Please don't judge me. But in all seriousness guys, I think the Mudder Field Tested looks pretty clean, especially if you can find one with a low float like this one. And for only 4 cents, this was quite the steal. Last but certainly not least, we have the MP9 BioLeak Factory New. It only costs 13 cents, and uh, for a Factory New skin, I think it looks solid. It looks very clean. If you're going to own a BioLeak, it might as well be Factory New. So there you have it guys. That was my $25 CSGO loadout video. Let me know what you guys thought of this loadout in the comments section below. What were your favorite skins? Do you own any of these skins? I would love to know. And as always guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to share your support. Also, if you would like to be notified of future videos, giveaways, and more, hit the subscribe button below. So until next time, this is Fano, signing out.